Hi, good morning. Um, thank you so much for the love on the last video. Um, if you want to see the last video, it should be the one just before this one. But also, it'll be on my blog. If you go on my blog on the right hand side, there's a category list and it, videos is one of the categories. If you click on that, you can find my videos on there. Um, <coughs> so, anyway, the last one. So, so many views, honestly, thank you. Um, this one, so it was about this little book, okay. I was talking to you about this little book that I put together. Um, and it was about the fact that there's room in here for more pages. So I said I was going to go and put another page together. Um, and I started piecing papers and stitching, and this technically could go in there as another page, double page spread, but I'm not going to, okay, I've changed my mind, um, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I like it as a standalone piece, so what I did was I pieced some papers, um, added, so by papers I mean art papers, okay, so the white, they're art papers, alright, and then there's coloured papers on here that are torn from magazines, randomly torn from magazines like this one, this one, this one, this one, all these little tiny ones, okay. And I've also got fabric on here, hand stitch, some little found things, some thread wrapped tubes, um, a little handmade button and a hexagon, grandmother's flower garden, and that's actually the right way up. I'm looking at it the right way up now, that's the right way up for you. So, I just love it as it is, as a standalone piece of work. Don't have any plans for it, but that, that's never a problem for me. I just enjoy the making, and then I enjoy the retaining these pieces and looking at them at various points in the future. So that is finished, and that is a standalone piece of embroidery on paper, <clears throat> almost like a, a little curated collection, maybe. Of things that made me happy okay I'll just say that so and the magazines get asked a lot about the magazines the magazines that I'm using for all this and like I've been using them for it called little thing magazine the Chinese magazines very difficult to get hold of now but I found a guy on Etsy who sold uh, Chinese Japanese magazines about computer games and virtual wars and blah de blah and I asked him could he get any of these for me and he did so I ordered them from him. So I've got now one, two, three, five, six. I've got about eight of them now. Um, I had some in the past, but these were new ones. So as you can see, I just ripped them up. But I just love the colour and the graphics and the, the layouts of the pages and the subjects as well. I mean, I love all this colour. And it doesn't look anything like. So if I was to tear that one, that's a dress there. It wouldn't look anything like a dress when I torn it. It's just the colours and the mix of colours and patterns that I really like about these. Um, so it's Little Thing magazine. Knock yourself out. Um, Pompadour is called. The guy on Etsy. P-O-M-P-O-D-O-U-R. So I'm sure he would get them for you if you messaged him. So I'll put together another one. Just because I'm having so much fun. Okay, so this is the second one I'm working on. The right way up for you is that way. So again, pieced art papers with some fabric, another hexagon grandmother's flower garden that still needs to be stitched down, a little bit of vintage fabric with some torn paper, vintage fabric, torn paper, torn paper, lace here that I'm in the process of attaching with bullion loops, uh, and more paper. Now, also, it's nice to have lots of little snippets of things. I, th I think of them as tokens that you've made yourself. So I've also been doing some of that. So that's a bit of vintage lace with torn paper stitched to it. Okay. That, I mean, I don't know if that'll go on here, but it may go on the next one. You know, if I do another one, which I probably will. That's a piece of vintage fabric with some French knots. That's vintage lace off cut with bullion knots on it around the edge. There's another one of those. So I mean never throw anything away. I found these were as they are, this this size and this shape in my box of bits. Um so bullion knots on there. Another bit of lace that I added little torn bits of paper to and then gathered it up. Okay. Um 
Oh, you got thread everywhere. Karen. And then this was a little button and buttonhole on an off cut that I've just secured with running stitch and then put bullion knots around the edge of it. So for example, for example, oh, could it go on here I wonder, do you think? Might not but it could. Um, let me think. I think it would, wouldn't look right there. there. I think there's enough going on on here. I think what this needs is more tiny little torn bits like there is on here. Okay, but if I was to put this on, if I put another one to the, but let's say, oh, let's imagine that's not there. Okay, that blue bit there, can you see it? There that would go on there, that would live there, okay. So just like little tokens that you've stitched. So in terms of demo for this video, I'm really, that needs to be stitched down. And when I do that, I will stitch around the whole thing and then cut it out from the back. And I don't need to worry about the back because it's paper and it doesn't fray. So I literally just cut the paper away and then take my templates out. That's not a problem because of it being paper. If it was fabric, I'd have to stitch where it was cut, stitch it back together again, but you don't have to worry about it with paper. So I've still got to do that with that. Um, attach that with bullion knots. Try and find, I can easily do some more of these. I like these. Do some more of these little torn bits and attach them with French knots because that's what's happening there. Um, yeah, and then just go, I mean, as I'm working on it, I see, you know, I need a little bit more there or I need something else there or something else there. This is just a one-off that I had in a jar, this little medallion thing. So I'll find something else like that to attach possibly. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy. So I just, I mean, you probably you can switch off now if you want, but I'm just going to do a bullion knot because I don't do these in a hoop generally because the hoop creases the paper and you can't iron it when all this is on it you would just ruin it so i tend not to do it in a hoop so i've already so i've done the bullion knots to the leaf and obviously i didn't want to do them across the leaf so i've just caught that down with a little running stitch um, and i'll continue the bullion loops oh. along the edge again so i'll come up there Oh, where are you? And rubbish. Spatial awareness is terrible. Down there. Up again. Okay. Leave my needle in the work. I'm going to wrap this 35 times so and I'm not going to count out loud. I'm going to count in my head. Okay. I lost count there, I'm hoping that was 35. Push them down and go back in there. So then that won't take me long really to finish that up to there. And then I have the seams where the papers meet there. That will be bullion knotted. But what I'm going to do next when I finish this is stitch that on. And then I've got another seam up there, a little bit of a seam there. So bullion knots, bullion knots, bullion knots, and you'll see here there was a seam there, so I did three bullion loops, and then it was kind of torn, and so I buttonholed around the tear, okay? Now I won't necessarily buttonhole around this whole thing, but if it's there, just occasionally, a little tiny bit of it, it just does add something. So that's what I'm on at the minute. Um, no end game in mind just to enjoy myself just having fun okay and I kind of uh, go on spatial awareness classes Karen that'd be a good idea there there so that's that oh and the other thing I did I have to get up hang on if you've seen quite a few of my videos you'll know that I started to work on a little cloth book of embroidered samples so I have been working on these a little bit but not got much, very far so these are spatial awareness, honestly. Yeah. Ah, oh. Karen, get a grip. Right. 
So they're hexagons. <coughs> Excuse me, appliqued on, edged with chain stitch, then uh, chain stitch stems to make them like flowers with French knots to mimic leaves. And I've done French knots around the top of that one and just at the edge there and just at the edge there. Okay, now those little things that I made that I showed you. Let me just put this to one side. Put the thing out. Somebody once said to me, if you lose your place on the table, put a cross of tape where you need to be, right? Did it, did that, still couldn't stick to it. Still, I get lost in my embroidery and everything else just doesn't register. So I, it even didn't, that didn't, didn't even work. So for example, I could put this perhaps on there. Okay, I won't because I won't leave some of my paper things, but I could do some more. This little button thing could go there, maybe. One of these. Mm, I think I'm forcing them in now, that's too big. Um, but uh, this one's a bit smaller. Um, so, I mean, you get my drift. If you've got lots of little stitch pieces that you think, oh, what am I going to do with that? Well, you know, there you go. There's your ideas. Uh, I really like this one that's gathered up, but I don't think it'll fit on here. But just for the sake, I mean, it might look nice there, that one. Can you see it? Yeah. So, just a, a tip, just stitch your little bits, because you never know when they're going to come in handy. Okay. 